quickly after birth does the newborn exam have to be performed? And I like this question because uh, it brings us to the, the, I guess, addressing the reality about how we don't actually have one answer for uh, questions. There isn't one right way. So um, I have a yes and answer for this question. So number one, the newborn exam is a formulaic step-by-step -step review of all 10 systems in order to assess how baby is doing um, in their newly born state. And so that is partly done um, as a checklist and a very systematic review sometime in the hours before a midwife goes home after birth. But newborn exam assessment is also something that happens full time, nonstop, from the moment they're born until you see them again. Um, and so there will be a level of assessment that needs to happen um, the moment you see a baby. Color, tone, grimace, right? So APGAR is a form of newborn assessment. We're doing that right away. And then um, how is their physiology? Are they acting normally? Are they attempting to nurse? Do their eyes open and close? Does their mouth fully open? Is their anus patent? All of these things are things that we're evaluating as we assess them. And then we put all that data formulaically into the newborn exam in those hours after birth. So um, we shouldn't wait so long that they're technically not so much newborns anymore, uh, but we shouldn't rush that because of course, sacred belongs right alongside safety in the community-based space and babies should be with their parents for as much and as long as possible. And especially in those first few hours. So my general rule of thumb is I like to do the, the formulaic step-by-step -step newborn exam before I, I discharge the client from birth. So that might be, before four hours when I go home at a home birth. It might be before six hours when I turn care over to postpartum staff in a birth center. Um, but it could happen faster if the family wanted it or if you saw something concerning. And it could certainly happen within 24 hours as well.